guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you know that's one of the gaming dragon today, I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennessee's Kaken's Path. Oh, so y'all, sorry I've been uh, very emotional lately. The I'm already a little bit homesick. I'm missing my pets and everything. Um, I'm trying to get through it. It's been, it's been tough. Um, my roommates are doing a really, really good job of helping me cope, and it's just, it's just the way it is when you move, you know. If you have a good childhood with your with your parents and your family, it's, it's a lot harder to move out. So, anyway, y'all, let's just go ahead and just jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining. Let's just uh, en enjoy. <laughs> Arms and you're up, and let's go. I, mean, I have to admit, they sounded really great. I might have just become a fan. I still think they could sound even more amazing with him in it, though. Hmm, the brother said she wanted to get Keiko to join them as a vocalist. Maybe I can look for a way to push him into doing that. Yeah, I think that's just what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm gonna head to I'm gonna head home and lie down for a bit. I'm still feeling a little dizzy from the loud music. Ding ling, ding ling, ling. As soon as I step outside of the car, a wave of dry heat assaults me. The sudden shift in temperature sends a shiver down my spine. Kicken had sent one of his limousines to pick me up today, and that thing had such a powerful AC inside that I felt like I was inside of a blizzard. Well, I might have been exaggerating just a tad, but it's true that this thing gets cold as hell. Oh, good evening, sir. The young master has been expecting you. Young ma- Oh, right, that's Keisuke. I'm not used to hearing him being called that way. The fox chuckles, his voice carrying softly and almost melodically through the air. I have to say, he does have a certain air of elegance to him, even if he is a butler. I guess that's to be expected from someone that works with the rich. I suppose there are many things about the young master that would surprise you. I'm not sure if surprise is the right term for the situation here. Well, no matter. Shall I take you to the young master's room? Or maybe you prefer to eat something before you go to him? I could offer you some tea. No, that's fine. I already had lunch. I understand. In that case, please follow me. A smile, the butler calmly points down the hallway and turns to walk away from me. Huh, did Keisuke grow up with this kind of pump pampering every day? In that case, I think he actually turned out more down to earth than I'd expect. The more you know. Excuse me, young master, your guest has arrived. Ah, oh, Yuichi-san. Thank, thank you for bringing him here, Kuroda. It was my pleasure. Don't hesitate to call if I am needed. I won't. Very well. If you'll excuse me, I must return to my duties. Welcome to my house, Yuichi-san. I'm happy to have been invited here again. Although, Sai-chan, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? Am I not allowed to visit a friend? That's not what I mean. I'm just surprised to see you here since Keiken said he never invited anyone else to his place. I thought I was the first. Yes, you were the first to visit my house, if that is so important to you. I just thought that it was about time I had someone else over. You yourself were the one who told me that I should open up to my friends more, weren't you? So I decided to invite my other my other closest friend to come today. Ah, I see. I'm glad you're taking my advice. Hey, Yuichi-kun. Oh, what do you think of this place? Isn't it huge? My jaw nearly did my jaw nearly hit my jaw nearly hit the floor when I first saw it. It really is. I get the feeling that I'd easily get lost in this place if I didn't have something guiding guiding me around. Someone guiding me around. I'm just it's it's, just, it's not just a feeling. Getting lost here isn't hard at all. Seriously? One time right after I moved here, I got lost in the back garden. It took the servants two hours to find me. Sheesh. Why would someone want a, why would someone want a house this needlessly big in the first place? I'm afraid the answer isn't going to do much to help clarify stuff. From what I've learned over the years, it's for no reason other than we can. You're not like that, though. Why is that? Who knows? Perhaps my upbringing before I moved here gives me a little sense of perspective. It's not as if I'm... I'm perfectly average either. I'm well aware that it's I sometimes do or say outlandish things out of my own naivety. Like, thinking a place that charges near minimum wage for a, for a tub of ice cream is cheap? Y yeah, something like that. You're still pretty easy to talk to. I was really surprised when I found out you were some mega rich kid because you really don't act like it. <laughs> I'll choose to take that as a compliment. By the way, Yuichi san, Sai Chen and I were going to play some games. Want to join us? Oh, you mean we're not going to have an obnoxiously fancy tea party? Do you even want something like that? Of course not. I'm sure it'd be very boring anyway. Thank God. 
I was afraid I'd have to actually entertain the idea of drinking tea. Just because others are doing it doesn't mean you have to, too. But what about peer pressure? If we jumped off a building, would you just follow suit? Depends. Are we going... Are we doing bungee jumping? Forget it. The main point is, we don't want a tea party. And you, we don't want a tea party. And you don't have to have tea. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of dressing up and feeling fancy while drinking tea. I wonder if that would make me a proper lady. That's not... I think you need to grow a pair of boobs first if you want to be considered a lady. Oh, God. Kagan makes a weird choking sound, trying to turn... Trying to look at Sai with a gaping mouth. The words slipped out of my mind before I even gave them much thought. I mean, you're already a real lady, sai Chan. I began to cower from her, taking a few steps, slow steps back, anticipating the physical punishment that undoubtedly awaits me. I said, Saya blinks, looking at the two of us, confused. Why are you guys staring at me like that? Uh huh? And Mizuguchi san, didn't you hear what he just said? I did, so, I mean, he's not wrong. What? Who are you and what did you do to Saya? What? Am I supposed to turn into a fire-breathing dragon every time someone makes a joke at my expense or something? Yes. That's what we've come to expect of you every, over time, anyway. Uh... Just tell me- just yell at me already so we can get this over with. What? No! Come on, it's from my own peace of mind. What do I- what do I have to do with your peace of mind? I have to admit, this feels really weird. I don't want to just go around whacking people upside the head whenever they tease me. Really? Because all the experience I've had dealing with you over this past year tells me otherwise. Seriously, what's with all these bruises we've got we got in the past for making jokes then? That's for when you cross the line! I'm and talking about your non existent breast isn't crossing the line? Stop calling them non existent. I mean they're I guess they're A Gub. See? This doesn't upset you. Why the hell aren't you hitting me? See, this does upset you. Why the hell aren't you hitting me? Saya huffs, her nose twitching multiple times with all those big jets of air. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe I don't want to be that kind of violent person anymore? I sneer, shaking my head sideways. Yeah, right, as if I'm ever going to buy that excuse. What? It really is hard to believe. Hey! You're, like, the most violent person I know. Ditto. Do you two really have such a low opinion of me? Mizuguchi-san, there's a difference between an opinion and a fact. She grits her teeth, clenching her fists and what are the telltale signs of her fury. Did I get invited here just so the two of you could mock me? No, but at this point, I'm not even sure if you're really here. Perhaps I'm dreaming this whole thing up. That is one way to explain her weird behavior. Just shut up already! Ow! But why did I get slapped too? You joined in and mocked me too! That wasn't mocking. I was legitimately concerned that something was wrong. See, I told you, you are violent. Damn, this stings. At least, uh, at least all is right with the world again. I don't like this outcome, but at least it's the one that makes sense. You do suck. She crosses her arms, grumbling unhappily. Jeez, and I've lost a bet too. Bet? What bet? She looks away with a huff. I notice that her cheeks are slightly reddened now. It's not your concern. Ah. W wait a second. As soon as she hears my tone of voice, Saya's entire body freezes. Did you make a bet with someone that you'd be able to stop hitting people or something of the sorts? Because that would make a lot more sense. Ah! As if he noticed it too, Case Cake looks over at Saya, who is now making it a point to look away from us. I don't know what you two are talking about. Mizuguchi-san. Case Cake's voice came out abnormally stern, almost commanding. Saya jumped and straightened herself out immediately in response. Please tell me that I did not just get hit because of a bet. I mean, it wasn't because of because of the bet. I, exactly. I, I, I slapped you because you were... So this bet does exist. And if it weren't for this so-called bet, you would, have re you would have reacted when Yuichi san first teased you, and I would have remained uninvolved in the whole thing. I mean, not exactly. Mizuguchi san. Saya gulps loudly, looking away from the two of us. Are you freaking kidding me? Who even makes a bet like that? Not hitting people should be a matter of common sense. Indeed. What a vulgar little wager. Jeez, dial down on the judgment a little. No. Gah! Who did you even make a bet with? Anyone who knows of any of... Anyone who knows any of us just a little bit would have been able to predict something like this happening. What? Of course not! 
It doesn't take much to imagine that we'd be confused if you suddenly stopped acting like normal. It also doesn't take much to imagine that you'd eventually reach your breaking point. Ah! If we kept making comments about it. What you guys are suggesting here would require a prophetic degree of foresight. Would it? Would it really? Of course it would. The whole idea is ridiculous. Hmm. As much as I hate to admit it, it's hard to think of a person that, a person that could take make those kinds of leaps in logic without the gift of hindsight. It would take a lot of imagination. No, I can think of just the person. Really? Who? One second. Hello, Yuichi? Were you the one who made a bet with Saya? On the other side of the call, laughter begins to echo. Seems he wasn't seems he wasn't able to keep a straight face even through the phone. Did she lash out on you guys yet? You knew this would happen! What did you call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> Kaken stands around, confused. He leans closer to me in an attempt to hear Shuichi's voice on the other end of the line. Meanwhile, Saya is looking away from the both of us. Of course I did. I know you and Saya better than anyone else. It's not hard for me to imagine you piling on the grief on her until she cracked. I swear, I'm gonna hit you tomorrow. Be my guest. In the meantime, this is punishment for not inviting me along. I can't invite you to someone else's house. I know. That's why I made sure that this would happen with Arushihara around. That way he gets punished too. You're evil. Perhaps. Either way, I've gotta go. Have fun, and oh, remind Saya-chan that she owes me six... She owes me 6,000 yen. Who was that? Shuichi. What? What? I'll kill him. I'll just kill him tomorrow. Not if I get to him first. Aren't you guys going a little too far over a prank? I got slapped over that prank of his, so no. To be fair, you would have gotten slapped regardless. I'm the only one here who's gotten a bit who's gotten hit unduly. What? No way! Um, he's right though. I would have slapped you after the first comment if it weren't for the bet. You hit me and now you're gonna side with him. Side with him? There are no sides here. What are you talking about? Ugh, never mind. My cheek's still tingling. I feel like I've been played. We've all been played, but it was Saya, mo but it was mostly Saya. Do you want me to hit you again? No, ma'am. Spineless. Be quiet. Well, feel free to continue grumbling like a child. I'm going to get back to what we were doing before. What? You mean you won't help me plot Shuichi's demise? Demise? What are you, a child? I'm just gonna try to have fun like we were going to. Yeah, Yuichi-kun. I'm the, only, I'm the one who lost money here. Why are you complaining? Does my dignity mean nothing to you people? No. <laughs> nuh -uh. Not one bit, in fact. You two are horrible. It's my pleasure. Now, to choose a game to play, or what console to play. Why don't you just help us, Yuichi-kun? That way it'll go faster. Jeez, no one really cares at all. Stop mumbling to yourself and get over here already. You're so mean! Yeah, yeah, haven't you heard? I'm horrible. Now get to it. What's the point? We can't play most games with only three people. Ah! Oh yeah, that's true. Fuck. What? Did I just hear you curse? The prim and proper Kaken? <laughs> you heard nothing. I'm pretty sure I... You heard nothing. Whoa, okay, okay, I heard nothing. Case gave sighs, rubbing his forehead, his nose and brow twitching repeatedly. What will we do? Should we just play normal two-player games and trade controllers? We could also just pick up some four-player party game and play against the CPU. But playing against the CPU is super boring. It's better than having a trade. It's better than than having to trade controllers. That means one third of everyone's time will be spent not playing. That's true. Actually, I have an idea. Oh? Haken fiddles with his phone, typing something in it. There. It shouldn't take very long now. What did you? Oh no. You called me? Eee! <laughs> Just then a towering muscled wolf wearing a tight butler vest walked into the room. His eyes looked stern and unapproachable. Definitely not the friendliest looking person I've seen. It seems Alex hasn't, cha Alex hasn't changed at all since I last met him, although I suppose that's to be expected. B big the wolf's ears twitch at those words, focusing his eyes on the frightened looking bunny. Eee! Calm down, Saiyajan, he's a friend. This is Alexander, he's been my butler and friend for years. Feel free to chill around him. Feel free to call him Alex. Hello. Wolf nods at us, looking at us both uh, looking us both up from looking at it, looking us both up from top to bottom. 
I am also his bodyguard. That is my main occupation. There's no need to bring that up, Alex. It's not like I'm in need of protection in the first place. Oh, you mean to tell me that I imagine the pay cut I received after your wallet was stolen just a few days ago? Fair point. The wolf's eyes settle on me. Even though I know I shouldn't, I still get a little nervous when that piercing gaze is pointed right at me. If I remember correctly, you are Yuichi, yes? Yeah, I, we met a while ago. Nice to see you again. Mm-hmm. His voice and expression are so maddeningly devoid of emotion. There's just so many people around me being so hard to read. And you're the one that you're the one that was with KSK when his wallet was stolen. His stomach immediately sinks at those words. Oh god, he's going to blame me for that, isn't he? Alex. Keisuke's fur bristles up around his neck, and he stares dangerously at the wolf man that easily towers over him. Without even looking at his employer, Alex holds up a hand as if to say, "Wait." Thank you for teaching this foolish fool how to about how careless he's been. Keisuke sighs, and I nearly hit the floor with our jaws once he utters those words. Then, as if to say that he was having fun at our expense when he when we thought that he was about to chastise me, the corners of his mouth cork up in amusement. Did did you just call me a fool twice? I'll call you that a third time if I need be. Maybe even a fourth for good measure. Alex! He <laughs> snick. Saya looks away from the two, covering her mouth as she attempts to keep herself from bursting into laughter. Don't laugh! You seem to be very flustered at the moment. Did I get you some tea? And don't tease me either. These two have a friendlier relationship than I thought they would, considering their circumstances. I guess I was worried over nothing, huh? Regardless, Yuichi, thank you for going through the trouble of helping this fool to get me a gift. It was ultimately unnecessary, but I still appreciate the gesture. There it is. You just called me a fool again. Yes, I did. You have good ears, young master. Yeah, don't call me that. It just sounds gross when you do it. As you wish, my lord. We're not in the Middle Ages. I see. Forgive me, your grace. Now you're just mocking me, aren't you? Smart and humble? Truly a noble soul. Even I'm unable to hold back my laughter as they continue to bicker amongst themselves. Or in this case, Kaken continues to bicker with what is basically a giant brick wall, as Alexander's facial expression doesn't shift even a little bit through this whole exchange. Yeah, yeah, make fun of me, why don't you? Excuse me, Keisuke, but if you're going to sulk around instead of telling me what you wish for me to do, then, I, then may I be excused? I'm not going to take the bait this time. Oh, too bad. I'm one for two, I guess. The reason I called you over is because we need one another. We, we, we need one other player. One other play. Alexander at first begins to repeat Keisuke's request until the words sink in, and he starts looking from the hair to the entertainment center right next to us. After a few seconds, he wordlessly points at the video games and then back at him, as if asking confirmation on the seemingly absurd request he was just given. Yes, I am asking you to play games with us. Keisuke, I hardly think that's a pro. You're my personal butler, among other things, no? That means you do what I ask you to do. I'm asking you to play games with us. I hardly think that's a complicated request. Alright guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys have been awesome. Your support has been incredible. Thank you guys so much for sending the super tip, the super thanks and the tips. They've been really helping. Um, I've been spending a lot of money to get settled and moved in here. It's, it's been very, very, very expensive. Um... I should be starting my new job. Oh, sorry, guys, it's late. I should be starting my new job on the week of the 22nd. So I should be working and making money again very, very soon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment. Like, comment. No, I'm sorry, guys, it's, it's really late. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.